Janet Brown and today I would like to work on a step-by-step -step fondant flag tutorial. First, with the cake world being like it is and all the tutorials available out there, I would like to assure you that this particular design with a base cake, a triangle top tier, a fondant flag, a banner, and this exact crest is my creation. I designed it about 17 years ago when my husband needed a promotion cake and we were in Belgium. There was no um, tutorials or anything available on the internet back then, but I did find a website by Jane Asher, and um, she was in, in the UK, and she did a cake with a baby blanket on it that was kind of flowing down the cake. And I saw that, and I realized that I could airbrush on the fondant, and um, it would look like a flag. So that is the beginning of this particular flag cake design. So let's get started. Now I'm going to put together the base for the flag and um, what I've done is I have measured PVC pipe and cut it exactly the height that I need it to be. See, it's exactly the height. This is going to support your top tier and my top tier is going to go right here. So I need to look and figure out where I want my dowels to be. You can use PVC, you can use CPVC, you can use, um, you could use wooden dowels. I never use wooden dowels because I don't know where those dowels have been stored and you can't really wash wooden dowels. Where at least the, the CPVC like this, it's meant for um, water pipes, so it is food safe and I can always wash it. So I know no matter where it's been stored, it's safe to go in my cake. I always do at least five on a big cake. This time I have six, but that's because this top one is pretty heavy. There we go. Now we have the base for our flag cake. Okay, the next thing that I do is um, I actually put a shell here just because I like the way it looks and in case this does show, and I do a really tight shell. 